Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to get Windows Phone 8.1 or apply the jailbreak on your Huawei Ascent W1. First of all, you'll have to choose a ROM which you're going to flash on your phone. The first one is a GDR1 ROM, allowing you to upgrade to Windows Phone 8.1. The second one is a custom ROM, which allows you to jailbreak your phone, so be sure to choose wisely. Both ROMs are only available in English, Russian and Chinese, but you can get the language packs by extracting them from another phone's file system. You will need a Windows 7 32-bit installation from where you will flash the ROM. To develop or unlock your phone, you'll need the Windows Phone 8 SDK, which again requires a Windows 8 64-bit PC. You will need a Huawei Ascent W1, of course, the Windows Phone 8 SDK, Qualcomm USB drivers, simple I.O. drivers, custom bootloader, the Qualcomm support tool, and the ROM of your choice. First of all, you will install the Qualcomm USB driver by running the setup.exe file in the folder you previously downloaded. Right after starting the setup process, you will have to select free build, so the first option. Now you will install the Qualcomm support tool by running the setup file from the QPSD folder you previously downloaded. Then you will install the simple I.O. drivers by running the install simple I.O. batch file as administrator. Just to make sure everything will work fine later, I'd recommend restarting your computer now. To get your Huawei Ascent W1 into download mode, you have to connect the left port of your micro SD card slot with the metal case of the SIM card slot and plug your phone into your computer using a micro USB cable. Your phone won't start and after some time your computer should install the drivers. In the device manager under ports you should see a device called Qualcomm HS USB QD Loader 9008. This is your phone. It doesn't show, if it doesn't show up, install the Qualcomm USB drivers manually. Now start the QPST Configurations app, which is part of the Qualcomm support tools. Navigate to IP server and tick Accept Client Connections. Now start the eMMC download app directly from its installation folder, and most preferably as administrator. When the app is started, tick Program Bootloader and trusted mode and make sure to uncheck program MMC device. Now click on load build contents and browse your file system for the contents.xml which is located in repair bootloader in a subfolder called flashing. After the file was loaded click on download. This process could take several minutes to finish. Don't close the tool if, even if it doesn't react. The process is finished when your phone is shown as Qualcomm HS USB Diagnostics 9006 in the device manager. Now uncheck Program Bootloader and check Program MMC Device instead. Select your smartphone in the list below, which should be called something like Qualcomm MMC etc. Now you can click on Download. Your computer will find several disks and you will be asked if you want to format these drives. Here you have to click on Cancel, as this would make your device unusable. Now you can unplug your device and remove the battery for a few seconds. Power on your Huawei Ascent W1, which should show a bootloader menu called iWare Unibios FFU application, and plug it into your computer now. Start the flashing tool that you have downloaded with the ROM. Tick Firmware and select the previously copied .app file, and for the configurations, browse your file system for the Windows Phone default CFG XML file, which is located in the Flashing Tools folder. Now you can start the flashing process by clicking on Next and scan and download in the window appearing following that. Both on your phone and on your computer you should see percentages indicating the progress of the flashing process. When it's done, you should see a big OK on your phone's display.
Now you can unplug your device, take the battery out, put it back in and start your phone. If you decided to flash Windows Phone 8.1, you're pretty much done now. This ROM is currently on GDR1, so go and search for updates and install them. Then download the Preview for Developers app. Install GDR free, and after that you're able to install Windows Phone 8.1. If you decided to wait for Microsoft to fix the upgrade bug, and want the jailbreak on your SNW1, you'll have to follow the next few steps. After flashing the custom ROM, start your phone and set it up. After that, plug it into your PC, open the Windows Phone 8 SDK, and register your Huawei SNW1 with your developer account. Then turn off the smartphone. Press and hold the volume down and the camera button, and turn it on by pressing the on-off button until the phone vibrates. Keep pressing the volume down and camera button until the phone screen turns black. Now connect your phone with your PC. A few seconds later you should see a drive with 1.7GB of storage. Open it in Windows Explorer and navigate to the config folder inside System32. Make a backup of said folder and place it somewhere you can easily find it again. Search for a file called software inside the config folder. Also copy this file anywhere on your PC. Open the registry editor by pressing the Windows button and R and typing in regedit. Navigate to local machine. Now go to file and click on load hive. Search for the software file you previously extracted from your phone's file system and call it anything you want. In my case it's 123. Inside that hive, you should see 11 folders. One of them is called Microsoft. Inside that folder, you will find a subfolder called Device Reg, which you will select. On the right side, you can see several registry values. Double click on Portal URL Int and Portal URL Prod to change their values. Replace their original URL with the local host address, which is https colon slash slash 127.0.0.1. After that, click on a subfolder called Install, where you should find a key named Max Unsigned App. Change its value from 2, 3 or 10 to a number above 300. To get additional capabilities, you should also navigate to Software backslash Microsoft backslash Security Manager backslash Capability class. Here you'll add a new multi-string with following name and value. Now select the hive you previously opened in your registry and click on Unload Hive. Copy the edited software file and replace it with the one located on your phone. Now you have successfully jailbroken your Huawei Ascent W1. And that's it. Thank you very much for watching. If you run into problems, please leave a comment and I will try to help you as soon as possible. In case this video was helpful for you, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. See you guys in the next video.